Right. Great result for uh, both of you. Gold for you, Rennie. How do you feel? Uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the result in the race. And always a pleasure racing this guy. <laughs> Big guy and one of my... Well, I can say I'm a little bit of a fan. <laughs> Adam, this is the first time on the podium this season. Obviously, it's more of a comeback season after a rest last year. How do you feel? I feel great. That was a good result. Uh, I struggled a little bit in the first half. With these two fast sprinters on my left, and all the all the finishers were on my on my right, being uh, well Max and uh, Max Hoff and, and Renee. So I knew it was going to be sort of a, a race for me to be in the middle, and I was in lane five. So uh, strategically, it was good. Uh, it's hard paddling behind. You know, uh, Lockie was out like open water on us after 200 meters. So more. It was a bit of a struggle, but uh, you know, to finish. In the, uh, in the top three for the first time this year, as you said, after no disappointing results this year, but some realistic ones that I need to, uh, an indication that I need to keep training hard. And what made the difference to you, Renny, from uh, previous weeks to getting gold this week? I think I wanted to really show something after last weekend. My 500 last weekend was a bit of a disappointment to me. And, and also, I think for me, uh, I was coming slowly into the races and trying to improve from race to race. And this I'm happy to finish off with this because it proves that I'm on track. So, yeah. You both race in the 1000 and the 500. Obviously, the 1000 is Olympic distance. What do you really focus on in training? Uh, well, the 1000 has certainly taken uh, a priority seat for, for us in training. I think I can speak for both Renee and I. Um, but the Olympics are two uh, years away, and there's an opportunity to be world champion in K1 500 this year and next year. And, uh, you know, nobody's going to say, oh, but it's only 500 <laughs> because all the best guys are racing it. So um, it's difficult with the program to race at the world championship. So we're hoping that the ICF will make it uh, realistic for us to do both events at the world championship so that you know, we have two opportunities to be world champion. Yeah. There's a great crowd here in uh, Zeged. Could you hear them from the start to the finish? All the way. It was fantastic. It's always here is really good to race always because it's everyone's just cheering. Even even if there's no Hungarians, they still cheer, which is amazing for for us athletes. And I hope it's going to be more races like that. It's amazing. And for you, Rene, you've got the European Championships in a couple of weeks. Um, you've got another fierce battle with uh, Max Hoff. How are you going to manage that? Let's focus on worlds. <laughs> no, but I'll take <laughs> Europeans and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, one step at a time. We'll see when we get there. There's uh, six weeks to go and a lot can happen. We'll see. And what do you say to each other before you start? Do you say anything? Do you have a joke? What happens? <laughs> not, a, not a joke, but I think the 500 is usually a little bit more relaxed. Uh, so if there is a joke, luck. Yeah, yeah, we usually say good luck. I don't think we said have good luck good, today. Have a good one. Yeah, usually have a good one or good luck or have yeah. fun or something like that. Something encouraging, you know, because we're all friends. We're all out there for the same thing. And thankfully, we're not in the same lane trying to beat each other up with the paddles. It's uh, it's a non-combative sport. So, yeah. you know, I wish I wish all my competitors the best because when they race fast, then it brings the best out of my performance as yeah. well. And congratulations, and we'll see you in the 5,000, I guess, later. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Don't remind <laughs> have a good rest. <laughs>